Happy Friday, everyone. March 19th here with your day trading recap. Uh, plus $412 on the day. Uh, a little bit of a light day of trading, both in position size and number of trades. Uh, let's go over today's trades and we'll come back and recap the week. On the mighty 90 front, just did one trade in Tesla, booked 130. No pairs trades today. And then on the runners, had four trades. Baidu plus 160, Beyond. Uh, it was exactly a scratch. Microsoft minus 168 and Roku plus 290. So plus 282 on the day for the runners. So let's take a look at these trades. I'll show you what we did. Uh, starting with Tesla, our mighty 90 trade. So Tesla was, uh, was pushing lower. Got a nice little volume pop right here. Got long and caught a nice move. Uh, I thought this bar here was going to stay green and we were going to get out. It started to turn. The market started to turn, so I just cut out of the remaining piece right there. Got out of half for a nice profit, and then when it started to turn, got out of the rest. So I ended up booking 130 on the trade. On to the runners, uh, Baidu plus 160. So in Baidu, this is a downside volume runner. Had a big spike here, waited for a bounce, got short. Got out of most of my position here. I held on to one, uh, one piece. Uh, hoping for a little bit more downside when it started to push up above this kind of consolidation box. Ended up just cutting out of the last piece. And so booked 160 on that trade. In Beyond, let's go to Beyond to meet. Uh, so Beyond, let me expand this here for you. So in Beyond, if I can get my screen right for you. All right, so in Beyond, had this big second volume bar, so waited for a pullback. Got long in this area here. Uh, kind of chopped around, chopped around. It pushed up. I got out of half at this point, or maybe it was this one, one of these two little spikes. Got out of half, and then when this thing just started to roll over and kind of break down, the market was breaking down, so I just got out of my last piece and ended up scratching the trade. Uh, it kept pushing a little bit, but then um, it kind of based right here and it ended up would have been a nice trade, but I had already gotten out. So just kind of scratched that one. Uh, Microsoft minus 168. This is one where the market was looking really weak. And so when price came up and, and hit against the unchanged level, I just looked at a downside runner, got short right here, started to push down. And let's see, I can't remember. I may have gotten out of some on this little, no, I did not. It didn't quite push enough for me to get out of any. And when it ripped up, uh, I just closed it out. It looked like it was gonna be strong. The rest of the market was getting a little bit frothy to the upside. So cut out of that one for a minus 168. And then Roku plus 290. This is my biggest winner of the day. Uh, I just kept my position size nice and small. Um, so in Roku, had this big volume spike, got short on this bounce and rode this thing down, got out of all of my Roku. I think I had one contract left. And when it started to bounce, started to bounce, uh, I just I just cut out of the last piece. Uh, so booked a 290 profit. So plus 412 on the day. Let's bring back my sheet. I'll show you what we did for the week. So for the week on the mighty 90s, a little bit in the red, minus 541 on just five trades, 40% uh, win rate, so not, not great on the mighty 90s, but very few trades as well. Uh, on, the, on the pairs trade uh, front, only did two trades, booked a total of 152.50, uh, one winner, one loser, the winner was bigger. And then on the runners, booked a little over 1,800 on the week, 23 trades, just over 52% win rate. I uh, had a losing day on Tuesday. Remember, I didn't trade Monday because I was traveling. And then uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and then today were all green on the runners. So if we take a look at our summary for the week, plus $1,440.75. On the by day of week, to, so Tuesday was a loser, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday all green. So I haven't gone back to do my day of the week update. I just started doing this the last couple weeks. So you can see uh, so far Wednesday has been the best. And, and that's, uh, that's kind of what my thesis was that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, were going to be kind of my best Monday and Friday, my worst. Uh, so far in this tiny sample set of data that's holding true, but I, I do want to go back all the way back to when we started tracking and, um, and figure out what, what that looks like uh, going all the way back. 
Uh, as far as year to date, now we're up over uh, almost $19,000 year to date since the 1st of January. Runners taking the bulk of that, almost 16,000. Uh, pairs up 1382 and Mighty 90 up 1666. If we look at our totals, uh, uh, going all the way back to the end of August, Mighty 90 is up 87, a little over 8,700. Pairs up a little over 2,000. Uh, runners dominating at almost 44,000 and total of a little over 54,000. So that is your daily recap and your weekly recap. Hope everybody has a good weekend. We will be live streaming all next week and the following week. So look forward to seeing you there. Have a great weekend. Talk to you then.